Hello, it is the 29th of September. I have one more day here at Greybush Gardens and then I'm homeless. And uh, I'll be on my way to Panama right around the 11th of October. And uh, I just wanted to go through some of the hats that I've I've used over the years and some that I'm taking with me and some that I'm taking not I'm that I'm taking not that I'm not taking so here goes this is the cap I wear a lot I got it at uh, Walmart really cheap you can throw them away when they get all oily and nasty and dirty so this is probably the third one of these I've gone through this is the hat I got at uh, Pride this year, and uh, I don't wear it very much. Um, it's not a very well-made hat. Fit, frankly, it doesn't fit very well. This is a hat that I bought at a vendor at Pride this year, and the uh, minute I saw it, I loved it. It's got a dealy bob in the back here, so if the wind starts blowing, you just pull on these two strings, it tightens up and it won't blow off your head. Another nice thing is you can wad it up, you can throw it in the washing machine. Uh, this one's going with me. Very portable. This is one of my fishing hats. I take it fishing with me, but I haven't gone fishing as much as I've wanted to this year. But uh, they're nice and cool and comfortable. And I can hang lures from them. This is another fishing hat that I really like. The only problem with this hat is uh, it's kind of heavy and it weighs down on my head and then the next thing I know it's touching my ears and I don't like that. It's, it's not a good look. This hat I bought a few years ago. I don't wear it very often. It's kind of silly looking I think. And, also, it says Panama Jack, please. This one's not going with me. This is another hat that Wayne gave me. Uh, I really kind of like it. It makes me look like I have hair. And it's even my color. Nice and soft. This one's definitely going with me. I want to wear it on the Panama Canal. I really like this hat and I was using it last year when I was going fishing and the uh, problem was the top it's got mesh all around it you know so the air blows through and it's nice and cool but the mesh doesn't hold the top of the hat up consequently it would land on the top of my head and it got this big spot on it and uh, I thought that doesn't look very attractive. So my friend Lynn came up with a solution. I uh, stopped wearing the other hat because of the spot and told my friend Lynn about the problem and I said, aren't like mini pads kind of like glue on one side and uh, like soft on the other and it would fit inside a hat just like that. So, when the top of the hat comes down and touches my head, the uh, oil and grease from my head and the sweat doesn't affect the hat. Well, she had just given it to me and I hadn't attached it yet. I just put it inside the hat. We went out to breakfast to the egg and I. So we sat down at our table and I pulled off the hat. And sitting on top of my head was this little mini pad, and I didn't know it. And uh, I thought, what's wrong with Lynn? She's crying. And she was laughing so hard. And then she pointed at me, and I went, oh, no. So uh, I may have to leave this hat behind. I hate to do it, but uh, I can't be feeling, fiddling with a... Uh, a mini pad hat in Panama. 
I definitely want to make room for this hat. Um, I can see me wearing it in the jungle in Panama. And uh, Bobo thinks so too. I might take Bobo if I have room, but I think Bobo would scare the monkeys down in Panama. I'm definitely taking this hat. This is a real Panama hat made in Ecuador. And it was given to me at my retirement party, which my cousin John threw, by his BFF, his best friend forever. They were buddies in school uh, way back in San Diego. Jimmy and uh, his girlfriend Carrie gave me this. And it is just absolutely beautiful. It's a Panama number eight. And when you want to go someplace and you need to fold it up, it's as easy as that. Probably in thirds. You can wrap something around it, you can pack it, carry it in your, in your luggage. But uh, I love this hat. It's uh, waterproof and uh, very, very comfortable. My favorite hat that I've ever had in my life. So those are my hats. Um, I think that is all of them. Later.